Anthony Joshua wants a rematch with Dillian White and immediately inquired about fighting him on October 28 when Kubrick Pulov pulled out. Joshua and White have history, with White defeating his English rival when both were amateurs in 2009 before Joshua got revenge after overcoming a brief moment of concern with a spectacular seventh-round knockout in December 2015. Since then, Joshua Chapter 190, 19 KOs has won the IBF and WBA World Heavyweight titles and makes a fourth defense against Cameroon's Paris-based Carlos Tatham 3,531, 27 KOs, who stepped in at 12 days' notice after Bulgarian Polovin injured a shoulder in training. But Joshua, 28, who won the 2012 Olympic Super Heavyweight Gold as an amateur, first asked promoter Eddie Hearn if a rematch with White, 211, 16 KOs, could instead be made and considers beating his domestic rival his biggest professional career highlight, along with April's thrilling 11th round win over former long-reigning world champion Vladimir Klitschko. Dillian was the first person I asked to fight in Cardiff, said Joshua because the two people who brought the best out of me entertainment-wise were Dillian and Klitschko. Klitschko, I was buzzing for a rematch because of the type of fight it was, it was great. Dillian, the same reason, it was just a buzz, everyone had a good time. Let's look back at certain careers if you can pick memorable nights Dillian would be one and Klitschko would be one. Out of my career there should be four or five memorable nights and we've already ticked off two. White, 29, is also in action on Saturday and fights Finland's Robert Hellenius on the undercard in Cardiff. Victory for White, who moved to London from Jamaica age at 12, will move him closer to a first world title shot and Hearn hopes it will be against WBC champion Deontay Wilder 380, 37 KOs, of Alabama, in London Feb. 3, Dillian has a good fight against Hellenius, but if Dillian wins I'd like to see him fight Wilder, said Hearn. AJ will have a fight in March or something like that, then we fight the winner of Wilder White in the summer for the unification. Wilder makes a sixth title defense against Hades Las Vegas-based Bermain Stivern 2521, 21 KOs in a rematch on November 4 after Cuban Luis Ortiz his original opponent failed a drugs test last month. The American has been calling on Joshua, rather than White, to fight him in the States and Hearn insists Joshua deserves the bigger share of the purse. The deal in Wilder's head is a 5,050 split between Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, but over my dead body is that ever happening, said Hearn. He needs to fight someone real. That's why I want him to fight Dillian White, February 3rd at the O2 in London. To stay on course for either Wilder or White, Joshua needs to take care of Takam, 36, in a fight worth around £15 million, $19.7 million to him. Joshua, who lives in North London when he's not training in Sheffield, is a big favourite to overcome Takam, who lost to New Zealand's Joseph Parker now the WBO title holder last year and before that by knockout to Russian Alexander Povetkin in 2014, but Takam has the opportunity, as well as a big payday, after Polov pulled out injured but Joshua insists he has gone through with fights injured. I had glandular fever against Dominic Brazil in June 2016, my shoulder in this camp, said Joshua. Fighters go through a lot. Two weeks before the Klitschko fight I went for a Thai massage and she stretched me. She pulled my arm down my leg and it cramped my back. I swear, I was walking doubled over. Two weeks before, but we crack on. I fought Michael Sprott with a fractured back just crack on. You build up so much to this one moment and because of a niggle you're going to let it go. I don't think, touch wood, unless it was serious, serious, I don't think I'd stop.